Dallas, Texas, and she's uh, originally from Ghana. Isn't that great? She, her, she and her mom made this amazing skirt. Give it up. Yeah. Come on, am I wearing it? We got too many kids to be talking to me, so. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hell no. No, no, sir. No checking your way. How many jobs you got? That's not enough. You got over a 600 credit score? Who you pay? <laughs> All right, so she's from Ghana. Uh, if you were at Dallas Poetry Slam last night, I wore one of her skirts last night too. I love her work as a poet, as a woman. She is very innovative here in Dallas. She does workshops. She does uh, a poetry event called Flow once a month. And she's coming up on her anniversary, which is next Saturday, so make sure you check that out. Um, she's been traveling all over the country. So I want you to please, she's gonna do three poems. How many poems she gonna do? Three. Put your hands together for a masterpiece! Peace. 
no violence. I flow harder than bitches, menstrual causing mental damages of neurotic orgasms coming out my dentures. I own my shit, you can get the rental, what you people even say anymore. Rounds coming out like they've been ass hardcore. Build your rapport. I'm doing eagles. Y'all doing bogeys out of part four. Switch your style. It's drastic. Y'all makes me practice. Add everyone up. I'm still sicker than your average. Because the way I write is illegal. Regal in the highest places. I fly like an eagle. Put you straight up like your church steeple. Now add that up and see what that equals. That no one's equal to me. Because there's only one. Ego tripping so low key. I still think I'm humble. But yet, I'm value at a price so high. I can't be explained in numbers. The way I mesmerize, I make it with a black nigga go white. And you just drink some peroxide. See? <laughs> <laughs> Interpretations that way when the announcement made, is made, all you hear the sounds of poetry and proclamation. You see, we went to a few for strangers speaking the same language. It was nice to know you people like you were dangerous the way you see me saying like you support me. I'm paying me, maybe the cost will take you. That's what saving me. Haters getting mad because I'm making a gross profit. Mad so they tell lies, but they really lost profits. I mean, I just did just do a little something, you know. Let me get back to the poetry. Let me get back to the poetry. Let me get, let me get back to the poetry. called Masterpiece Boutique. So if you go on the website, masterpieceboutique.net, I got some merchandise over here. If you want to come check me, she's like, yes, girl, yes. Make sure you come check me out at the end of the night. Don't forget, she was skirt, where's she, but y'all saw her skirt? I did that one too. You know what I'm saying? So if you, want, if you like what you see, come hit me up. Yes, my working girl, yes. Masterpiece Boutique in the house, okay? <laughs> Masterpieceboutique.net. Pull out your phones. Some of y'all got your phones out. Pull out your phones, come on. All together now. All together, y'all. Everybody pull out your phone. See, y'all, y'all need to loosen up. Hold on, wait a minute. Is this how it's gonna be for the rest of the night? Give me some feedback. Cause we, we, we feed off your energy. Yes, ma'am. Okay, add me on Facebook. Okay. Type in masterpiece poet. All one word, no space. Masterpiece poet. And you'll see my name pop up, push like, and then close that app and open up Instagram and then go to <laughs> Y'all know how it is. You can go to Snapchat, you know, swipe and whatever. Uh, type in Masterpiece Poet. Okay, all one word. Here we go. Y'all ready to hear some poems? Yeah. This is called Black Girl Food. She had them raging hits. Fire from her tongue. She equipped with a blazing glare. Let them boys in the smoke. The sun don't touch her. She too hot. Scorching. Burnt from all the ways. And devils told her how to cook her soul. Nowadays, they say she's pretty productive, like it's a compliment. Smothered in Sarah Buckman's hits. My Cyrus call it a prop now. Black girl, be too permeated. You see us everywhere, but our mouths ain't got no filter if you can't hold water. Black girl, be in the itty bitty McKinney bikini showing out. They flinging us now. She got child support superpowers singing. I wish you would hymns. One of these days, black girl be so powerful. Her hair will stay pressed after being underwater. Her tongue too crispy. Can't put no seasoning on that. She got flavor. Ain't that how the Milano babies is made? Peach be so juicy, you gotta tell her her hair ain't good. Condition them so the hair ain't dry. Bleaching our skin so that we can be white enough. Photoshopping our bodies so that we can be photogenic enough. Post traumatic syndrome got us forgetting about ourselves. We so potent, NAACP had to remind us white girl, wanna be black. Black girl, free yourself. But when you fly, tell them. Baby, you have a such tell them. You are your own queen, tell them. Your brown sugar maple syrup can't be bought off shelves, tell them. Dark don't mean dirty. Bold don't mean problematic. Loud don't mean ratchet. Nappy don't mean nasty. They say the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. But in these times, the black of the baby, the longer the noose. Our sons don't need sunscreen. They run for protection. They get their vitamin D and run four hours face down on the ground. They want to keep us uneducated. File us in section eight. Oh, they terrified when we start to assimilate. Start talking like we got some sense. Start walking like we learn and we can run for president now. Start protesting because we stand up for our rights. We have a purpose here. You can't take that away. You can't and until our sons no more. You can't 16th Street Baptist Church burn our bodies no more. You can't walk into church and shoot us in prayer no more. You can't hang us in the jail cell and call it suicide no more. This ain't open season. Black girl, you are brick. You are mortar. You are designed more than just measurement. You are ceiling. Raise your head. This black girl ain't got no blues tonight. You be you and your blue hue beautiful as you want to be. Dark eyes, thick thighs. We don't need to apologize.
this last poem. Get out y'all's way so y'all can get to the show. Thank you so much, Poetry vs. Hip Hop, for coming to Dallas for putting this on. Shout out to Queen Sheba, DJ Nip, know that. Thank you so very much to Rain and Dallas Poetry Slam. Thank you guys so much for everything. And uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of the night. Make sure you stop by my table, masterpieceboutique.net. My website is masterpiecepoetry.com. Y'all ready? This poem is called Becky. <laughs> To those who think the term Becky is a racial slur, the term Becky isn't racial, it's historical. Black women have been hysterical behind losing their black babies to white women in plantation homes, yet breastfeeding and raising their own children only for them to grow up and steal our black men. For them to say we cannot share the same water fountain, yet they share the same areola. They gentrified our milk and somehow processed that we are not the soil God made us from. Somehow, Kylie or Rachel always seem to desire the injections of our lips, the tint of our sun-kissed melanin, and the natural silhouette of our bodies. Somewhere in Alabama, Mississippi, or South Carolina, Becky is using her long, bona fide tresses to secure an African-American male who has left a void in his household to tend to her submissiveness, to escape the resilience of our tongue. He has left a footprint of fearing that one day the queen he thought he was ready for would dethrone him in his kingdom so he feels more safe with her. Feels like she will suck and swallow his ego and give it back to him. Feels like she ain't gonna disrespect his authority. Like she ain't going to challenge him when he gets a taste of his own medicine. See, this has nothing to do with race and everything to do with a reminder. A reminder of how challenging it is to pronounce our names. How subtle our hair grows toward God. How trained we've become to run these men off. And how we've begun differentiating skin tones to color spectrums. The lighter you are, the closer to freedom he can be. I agree with you shouldn't use names to identify any one race, but history has called us niggas, coons, pickaninnies, and donkeys. We were once called out at slave auctions with names like Becky or, or, or Molly or Sarah or, or Mary, as if it were a privilege to even have one. So now, when we say our names, they have weight. They have meaning. They have purpose. They have wisdom with every enunciated syllable. And yes, when our men are afraid of their shadows, when they cannot confront their skeletons, when the smell of our sweet peach reminds him of where he came from, say Kofa, Jinami, rice, gold, diamonds, Oshun, Ashanti, Kente, Kofa butter, cassava, hay racks. When he begins twerking in an African ritual dance and not sexual entrapping, when he cannot recognize the claw or the ankh or his dialect, when he cannot look at me as his black queen and see himself as the man he truly is, well, if he chooses to test his loyalties between uh, infidelity, well, he better call him. Becky. <laughs> with the good hair. But this ain't got nothing to do with race. Thank you guys so very much. I appreciate it.